So let's open up by talking about the concept of an aged shelf company. The most obvious benefit would be getting a company that is seasoned, that is more than a couple of years old. That way, when you acquire the company, you can already hit the ground running. This can make it easier when you're getting credit, bidding on contracts, getting a lease, and overall good for your reputation. Now with your reputation in mind, you should be disclosing that you've recently acquired the company. You know, one of the great benefits of a business is that they outlast the owners. Look at Windex, for example, with the parent company S.C. Johnson. Did you know that S.C. Johnson started in 1886 and they were originally a parquet flooring company? Businesses are treated as separate entities than people and its age is legally based on its filing date. And the age of a company can bring a lot of credibility to that business. So it may be a good idea to look at the options of having a shelf company as opposed to starting a brand new business from scratch. But there are a few things you really need to look out for. A lot of people ask, do shelf companies have credit? And here's the thing, you don't really wanna acquire someone else's business that could have bad debt, bad liens, or credit that's unpaid. So if you're looking at buying shelf companies that are for sale, make sure that they are clean. You wanna do due diligence to make sure you're not getting an entity that's already encumbered. By the way, as you're watching this video, I have a shelf corp checklist that you can use and follow along with. It'll guide you through the process of getting a Shelf Corp, but also building funding for it. Just click the link in the description. Now, if it were me buying a Shelf Corp, I actually would not want to buy a Shelf Corp that already has credit established with the company. There are companies like Nav that very quickly boost up your business credit score. So within a matter of weeks, you can get a service like Nav Prime that'll actually add two reporting trade lines to your business credit profile. Every positive reporting trade line that you have boosts up your business credit score with the three business credit bureaus, Dun on Bradstreet, Experian, and Equifax. So you can get a clean shelf company that's well established, many years in business, and then you boost the business credit score on your own using a service like Nav. All right, so where do you buy them? When you buy a shelf company, you definitely wanna find a company that you're familiar with, and even better if you can get a referral. There are websites like Wyoming Company, Wholesale Shelf Corporations, and even our company at Business Credit Workshop has options for you. The difference with what we offer is that our companies are clean, they're unused, they have no credit attached to them. They're seasoned, so they're more than two years old, and it comes with free training on what to do with your shelf company, get it established, boost up your personal and your business credit score. We also don't list the name of our companies all over the internet. That gives you some privacy during the transaction. Now there's some more things you really need to know. When you're buying a shelf corp, look at the terms and the conditions. Many vendors should disclose their refund policy. In fact, many times because you're buying a business, it's not refundable. And they should disclose if the entity is clean or not. Now a lot of people ask, what are the best states to buy shelf companies from? It really depends on your use. If you're looking for asset protection, that would be a different state. If you're looking for tax benefits, that would be a different state. I can't give you legal or tax advice and I do recommend that you speak with a lawyer and a CPA. But the most popular states are Delaware, Nevada, Wyoming, New Mexico, and even New Jersey. If you're looking to get a shelf corp and you're gonna be using that entity to grow, scale your business, and get business funding, you're most likely going to file a foreign entity filing. You can do this yourself on the Secretary of State website, you could hire the lawyer that I recommended you talk to, or you could use a website like LegalZoom.com. I just go directly to the Secretary of State website, and usually when you call them, they actually are very helpful. But if you want to use a service like LegalZoom, they charge a fee, and they'll do the foreign entity filing for you. Now you have a company that's registered in two states, the state that it was filed in, and the state that you live in. It becomes a lot easier to get business funding if your company is also filed in the state that you live in. That way you can network with local community banks and credit unions in your area to get funding. You should definitely hit that subscribe button because I got a lot more coming. All right, so what do you do after you get one? Once you have the official documents showing you that you are the owner of the business, you can now go get the EIN letter from the IRS, which is as simple as going on their website during their hours of operation and clicking on apply online now. You can get the EIN letter immediately and now you have your formation documents in your EIN letter. At that point, you need a phone number for your business. I like Ring Central, Freedom Voice, or even Grasshopper. And then you want to get your phone number listed on the internet. You can do this manually or use paid services 
like Moz Local. That's what I use. You type in all your company information and it shoots it out to the internet. Gets you listed on Google, Yelp, Super Pages, 411, and all the important directories. Once this is completed, you would then want to apply for your DUNS number. You can do this for free at dmb.com. Just click on get a DUNS number. Your DUNS number is your business social security number and it's the first step of obtaining business credit. You're also going to need a website, even if it's a basic website. And if you can get one that's a few years old as well, that'll help too. We help you with that when you work with us. So now take your formation documents and your EIN letter and go visit a local bank and open up a business checking account. You need to establish this business as your own company. You need to boost up its business credit score and get the company on the map before you apply for funding. Now stay tuned because I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can get a shelf corp for nearly free. Shelf companies can be a great way to establish instant credibility, take over a company right away so you're not waiting on the creation process, and launch your business with a strong foundation. The costs are going to vary based on supply and demand, and the older the company is, the more expensive it is. I've seen the average from anywhere from $2,500 to $5,000. Want to know a quick tip on how you can get one super cheap, like almost free? Talk to your friends, family, go to networking events, and ask if anyone has created a company more than two years ago that they didn't do anything with. I go to a monthly networking event and there is always someone there that has multiple businesses that they created that they didn't do anything with. You can arrange to pay their filing fees, plus put some money in their pocket and take over the company. Just make sure it's a clean entity.